We've got a ton to cover in today's video, a bunch of more PlayStation 4 game leaks, including a lot of titles coming from Ubisoft, information on the next Star Wars title coming in 2019, and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Remember that game was announced, but we haven't heard much about it. We do have an indication that it'll be released in 2019, but it looks like a lot more information about that title has also come out. Also, a brand new Batman game is being teased, not by Rocksteady Studios, however, it is being teased by a studio that had previously worked on a Batman title. Also, the Game Awards are quickly approaching, We've gone over a bunch of rumors for various titles that could be at the show. One major title that won't be at the Game Awards is unfortunately Cyberpunk 2077. We'll take a look at that and I want to round out the video by taking a look at the file size for Just Cause 4, which is out tomorrow, as well as Kingdom Hearts 3, which is out next month. Surprisingly, both of those games are relatively small compared to some of the more recent releases like Red Dead Redemption 2. More on that at the end of this video. First, let's go over to a bunch of different Ubisoft projects being leaked. We're still in the dark about what these games could be as they're under interesting names. However, they did come from Mandy.com's voice actor catalog, and they're all dubbed under the word project, but I do want to take a deeper look and look at what those titles could mean. All of these games are coming from Ubisoft, and we have Project Balmore, Project Rocket, and Project Egyptus. Now, Project Rocket, I'm drawing a blank on. Project Balmore is very interesting because, as DualShockers pointed out, it points to a distillery based in Scotland going back as far as 1779. Egyptus is a little bit more interesting as it points to the mythological king of Egypt and right away when I read that the light bulb in my head went off thinking a new Prince of Persia game. I don't want to get too excited just because Prince of Persia is a franchise I've wanted to see make a comeback for so so long. I just think that's one franchise that needs to come back to the gaming world and thinking about what that series could do on the newer consoles that just gets the wheels turning in my head but I would love to see that franchise make a comeback. As far as Balmore goes I think that points to Watch Dogs 3. One of these games I feel like has to be Watch Dogs 3. Watch Dogs 3 is a game we've gotten so many teases for, and honestly, I'm kind of surprised that Watch Dogs 3 is in the works, because it didn't seem like Watch Dogs 2 was this gigantic commercial success. However, there has been a period of time since the release of Watch Dogs 2, and it looks like with the Watch Dogs franchise, this isn't a franchise that Ubisoft is just going to go ahead and milk out yearly releases. They're actually going to take their time and let the franchise simmer a bit, which I think is a great idea. Watch Dogs 2 was a really, really great game, and by the way, there's a free demo available on the PlayStation Store, so I would highly recommend you to check that out. But some interesting hidden titles here. Again, I don't know anything about Project Rocket. Balmore and Egyptus, at least we have some context to work with. Rocket, I'm just drawing a complete blank, but it looks like we have some major unannounced Ubisoft projects that are in the works. Who knows if these are pointing to PlayStation 4 titles, PlayStation 5 titles, cross-gen titles. Your guess is as good as mine, but do remember Watch Dogs 1 was a cross-gen title. It released on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4, so would not put it past Watch Dogs 3 to be a PS4 and PS5 title. We shall see as we get more information. Now, more information about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order has been leaked, and this comes over from a user at Reddit, and this looks really, really legitimate. He went in-depth with a bunch of Star Wars projects and marketing direction, and I want to take a look at what he said about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. If you don't know, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is Respawn Star Wars title, so Respawn are the guys that did the Titanfall games, and of course, I've talked very highly about that, but Fallen Order will be a more single-player-oriented title. And here's what the Reddit user had to say about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Quote, they said, this is coming out in November. It takes place about five years after Revenge of the Sith and follows the main character whose name is Cal. The Reddit user did specifically say, I forget his last name, he was a Padawan that survived the efforts to kill all of the remaining Jedi. Not a ton of gameplay info, but some of the other storylines that he has a mentor figure who is a woman named Caress. The only other thing I remember is them talking about other characters they would come across from some of the comics. They mentioned the ninth sister and second sister, something about Inquisitors. I wish I could remember more about this. They showed a ton of artwork. So Star Wars is a property that EA has completely fumbled when it comes to the Battlefront IP. However, I do think they could remedy Star Wars a little bit if Jedi Fallen Order turns out to be something special. We should definitely see more of this game come E3 2019. I think this will be one of the major titles that EA shows off. And a November 2019 release doesn't seem to be all too far off, and I'm a big fan of what Respawn has put out. Hopefully, they can make the transition to Star Wars very, very smoothly. Okay, lastly, another game that's being teased is a brand new Batman title coming from Warner Brothers Montreal. So not Rock Steady Studios. Warner Brothers Montreal did do work on Batman Arkham Origins, which was kind of the black sheep of the Batman Arkham franchise. Still a pretty good game. However, not up to the quality standard of the main Batman Arkham titles, but those games were so good. Arkham Origins was still a good game, you know, like a 7.5 out of 10. A solid outing for the Arkham franchise. Well, a tweet put out by Double V, an assistant producer at Warner Brothers Games Montreal, points to 
to a new Batman title, and she tweeted out redacted best dev team ever, and you'll notice that the shirt she has is a logo for Court of the Owls. If you don't know, and this is coming straight off Wiki, the Court of Owls is an organized crime group and secret society appearing in American comic books published by DC Comics, commonly in association with the superhero Batman. They have secretly existed since colonial times in Gotham City. Now, right away at this point, when we get these direct teases about games, we just point to, oh, this game's gonna get announced at the Game Awards, but unfortunately, that isn't gonna be happening. Patrick Redding, who is also a part of Warner Brothers Games Montreal, tweeted out this. Quote, if I wanted to be shameless and misleading, I'd casually drop that a few of us from Team Redacted will be in LA this week at the same time as the Game Awards. But truthfully, we're not doing the glamorous part of the job just yet. We're headed down to meet with our Warner Brother partners and showcase the team's hard work and share our excitement. I know how anxious the fans are to hear something, please be patient. So it seems like a new Batman related project is simmering. Unfortunately, it's not being done by Rocksteady, which I think is going to off put a lot of people. But hey, Batman getting another quality title, I think that could be very exciting. And I was very disappointed to hear that while Rocksteady is doing something new, and that's very cool. Well, if Batman was going to be forgotten about in the video game realm, that's kind of unfortunate because Arkham built a large video game following for Batman and it would have been sad if that just went away. It looks like it won't be thanks to Warner Brothers Montreal. Okay, so moving on from that, that Batman title won't be at the Game Awards. Another game that won't be at the Game Awards is Cyberpunk 2077. And a tweet put out by Marcin Mamet, the community lead at CD Projekt Red, he said this, quote, we're looking forward to seeing all the reveals and announcements during this year's Game Awards. However, we're not going to be showing anything there ourselves. We'll share more details about Cyberpunk when we're ready. We got that colossal demo for Cyberpunk 2077. That was a fantastic introduction to the game. And yeah, while it's a little bit disappointing, we're not going to be seeing more at the Game Awards. I think it's completely fine. They've shown off what they could for now. And I still do think Cyberpunk 2077's official release is a ways out. So just to continue release and tease gameplay... I don't think that's the best route to go. I would rather hear about Cyberpunk 2077 closer to its release, probably like six months before its release. I think that would be the perfect time to show off more of the game and then not get to a mode where you peak anticipation for a game well ahead of its release and then it kind of dies down when the game's ready to be released. We've seen that in the past with games called Square Enix Japanese titles, but rest assured, I don't think that's going to be an issue with Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, lastly, I do want to take a look at some install file sizes for a couple of upcoming titles. Just Cause 4 is officially out tomorrow if you picked up the Golden you can start playing today. We got the file size for that, and considering that it's this big open world game, it's relatively small at 46.28 gigabytes on the PlayStation 4. Hey, I know that 46 gigabytes is still a hefty install, but when you look at games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Fallout 76, those games are colossal downloads and installs. The 46 gigabytes is looking a lot more palatable these days, so if you're looking to pick up Just Cause 4, know that it's not going to eat up too much of your hard drive space. And lastly, we've also got the download file size for Kingdom Hearts 3. This was pointed out via the Microsoft Xbox store listing, and it's sitting at just 35.81 gigabytes on the Xbox One. That is a very, very small game in 2019. 35 gigabytes is like a third of the size of Fallout 76 and Red Dead Redemption 2, and considering that Kingdom Hearts 3 is a pretty sizable game, that's a very, very small download. In fact, the Kingdom Hearts collections, I believe, were even bigger, but those games did come with a lot included into them, so that's not all too surprising, but hey, looks like our hard drives can take a little bit of a break in the next month and a half or so with Just Cause 4 not being all too big, and Kingdom Hearts 3 being a relatively small download. And that's going to conclude this video. Definitely give us your input on Balmore and these two other Ubisoft projects. What do you think about the possibility of Watch Dogs 3? Would you be into a new Prince of Persia? I know that's something I'm kind of facilitating, but I want to push Ubisoft in that direction to create a new Prince of Persia title. Going back to Prince of Persia 2008, I love that game. While not perfect, the presentation of that game was just so, so stunning. Or if you want to see some other Ubisoft project, a new Splinter Cell would be fantastic. But it does look like they have some hidden games in the work. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order looks to be released in November 2019. We got some information on that, and that game could turn out to be something special. Hopefully, Respawn delivers with that, and they can kind of remedy the stench that EA has put forth with Star Wars Battlefront. A new Batman game is being teased by Warner Brothers Montreal. The guys behind Batman Arkham Origins, Cyberpunk 2077, will not be at the Game Awards, and Just Cause 4 and Kingdom Hearts 3 will be relatively small downloads. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.